what is it, macadamia nut cookies? Ooh, yeah. don't get me started. Now, that, <clears throat> now that's a cookie. Anyway, <laughs> Devin just chimed in. Of course, because he knows that. I'm a man of taste, ladies and gentlemen. So let's jump in to Jen versus mm. Pug West. As I was just talking about a little bit earlier, All right, let's go. Jen was talking about fighting against Pug West. He yep. says that he is a more defensive Marth in comparison to Mr. E. He says he prefers fighting Mr. E because sometimes he finds Mr. E just pushing buttons, and he loves that. He's like, I'm just going to punch you pushing buttons. He's never fought against Pug West, and now he's playing. He's a, not, not afraid is not the right word, but he's very cautious. He doesn't know who's going to win this. Yo, so, uh, not 100% confident in the match. I'm going to tell you right now, the way that Jen is playing, I mean, he kind of looks like he knows what he's doing when it comes to the matchup. Showing no fear to Marth, not quite letting Marth just space him out the entire time. He'll actually go in there and engage, try to see if he can get cut off. Oh, that was a brave option. Yeah. Wasn't even afraid of a potential grab. He I just know. said... He said, I'll jump in, focus in anticipation of a single hit attack. Since, to be honest, when you think of a lot of Marth's attacks, right? Single hit. Except for, like, maybe neutral air, and that's about it. Yeah, right? I mean, up smash, I believe, uh, if you're close enough. Oh! Nice spacing. Pug West. He, like, did he wave dash there? That looked like a wave dash, my guy. That was like. clean. <laughs> Uh-oh. And now we're gonna, we're definitely going to see a lot of uh, Bs to get out of these combos. Of course, thanks to Marth having invincibility. Mm -hmm. But... One thing that Jen can do is bait that out and then get the punish upon landing. With all these platforms, though, it's not going to be easy to guess where Pug West will go. He has a lot of room for mix-up. Yeah, I mean, Ryu does like the stage a lot, but it doesn't really... It helps him land down on the ground in case Pug West is juggling midair. But it's the same thing for Pug West. It also benefits him. So it's just kind of like... It, it, it's fitting. This is stage number one. See Jen walking slowly. You know he's looking for something. It's going to be the elbow. Oof. There he is. He's like, I dare you to charge in. My elbow's at the ready. My elbow's longer than your sword, dude. Just inching back and forth, looking for an opening. Yo, that jab is so far. Ooh, brolic foot. Here we go. One thing I can always appreciate about Pug West's playstyle yes. is his spacing, dude. He just always is so careful and collected when he's just trying to like walk forward, tries to space out his forward tilt, jab, anything. We talk about how much work Pug West put in, but just a few hits from Ryu. Just Two back airs. He was waiting for the air dodge. Oh! And okay. the tables have turned. Oh, that was a oof. That was a juicy back air right there. Oh. So this is something I also he want to address. Dude. Does he miss input a lot? No. Jen's controller has also been acting up. He said earlier today he's been doing. He's been miss inputting a lot today. Dang and That's man. exactly what happened though. He got a miss input on the Shoryu. A Hadoken came out instead, so he did not get back onto the stage. And again, it's not a John because you gotta watch for your controller, man. Taking care of your controller is like taking care of your body. Like, it, it's a part of you. That hurts, dude. It really hurts. I saw the Hadouken, and I was like, I think he might, like, be way too far below. And, yep, that's it. So here we go, guys. Game two. Uh, we have Pug West versus Jet. Same stage. Yeah, right back, right back to Battlefield, you know. Let's Jen, do it. Jen's like, you know what? That was faulty. I had a misinput. I was doing okay on the stage. Why not go back? Yeah, why not? And New York also doesn't believe in DSR, so there's no DSR whatsoever. Oh, you guys don't have DSR? Correct. That's just kind of like a New York City thing. I, I respect the fact that they have different regions that try different rules, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, that tech trade. That was clean. That was very, very good. Oh, look at that little walk. Yo, that is little that, is this Street Fighter? The heck? I'm liking it. <laughs> it's almost as if he's just like uh, you know, you bagging say, a little bit. Are though, you saying yeah. it's a mobile bag of tea? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Almost, yeah, you know, like the you, you dip the tea in something. Like, like I've never what, seen what, that what, move, the, the container of the tea, you know. Okay. <laughs> and here we go, Jen. See, there it is again. Like I told you guys before, you're able to like fade through the platforms, keeping the opponent guessing. So, good on, good stuff right there. And the techs. Yeah, Jen. Jen's always on point with those techs. You know, it's funny. Uh, in SoCal, there's actually a KBBQ spot. I believe it has like Jen in the name. Oh, is it Jen? I think it's Jen. I have to double check. I can't believe it. I sound like a fraudulent SoCal person. Dad, well, it's almost know, as if you're a New Yorker. Yeah, actually, you know what? <laughs> you're right. Oh, Pug <laughs> set him up with that jab to forward tilt. My word. When Amarth gets that jab just right and it leads into that forward tilt tipper, mm. it just, it's always clean to watch. We're kind of just ducking right underneath. But here's one interesting thing. He could be ducking underneath that fireball, but while he's ducking, he ain't exactly shielded. Exactly. So I wonder I wonder what he was waiting for. Is he waiting to see if Jen might have been waiting for... A jump? Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah we'll see. Or maybe Pug West was waiting for a jump, right? Right, yeah. yeah, yeah. Either or. But every single oh. time he goes for that doken, you see him doing it mid-air because there's less landing lag afterwards. Because if you just do it raw on the stage, mm -hmm. you're just going to get punished. 
Look at these chases. Very solid stuff right there. He didn't want to keep getting pushed back. Oh. Jeez. Ooh, just charges forward bravely. There we go. Elbow. Elbow into the spike. Nice DI coming from Pug West. DIing that to the left in order to tech onto the stage instead of get set flying into the abyss. That was so smart right there. Here it is. It's playing patient again. Goes for the raw F smash. It's not a Ryu match without the raw F smash in neutral. Oh, and he even jumped upwards too, but there it is. Pug West still holding onto this stock. Yeah, Battlefield saving his life. Okay. For you. Oh, man. It's very scary in situations like this, but as you can see, Pug West is trying to stop any aerial movement right here. <gasps> very soft. Again, he keeps landing the Shoryu's, but he just can't get him off the top. Yeah, he's not quite getting the optimal knockback that he wants, it seems. At, the, at least the first time it looked like it. Okay. Uh, what oh. the? Yo, that was Jen calling out Pug West. Like, I teched. Where's your tech? Wow. I teched. Where's your tech? He actually ran it back. And there's Pug West. He's like, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Ooh, back to Battlefield, man. BF, BF. Whew. Fan of the stage. I don't mind. I mean, it helps a lot, too, because he's been getting caught by some tilts into Shoryu quite a bit. Right. And because of that, you kind of want to live longer. So no Tunnel City here. We're going to be going to Smashville. Let's see the strategy that Pug West will employ. Okay, definitely a lot of fade back aerials, as you can see. You know, he's walling out the Ryu, understanding that Ryu doesn't have the range, right? So you might, you might as well use that to your advantage. Space him out. Yeah, use your disjoints, man. It's just really tough because you could keep racking up that damage on Ryu, but the moment he's at that range where you have to worry about him KOing you earlier, is it really an advantage? You know? Yeah, it's sometimes when you're fighting against right Ryu, it's like you're not are you really winning until yeah. the stock's gone? Yeah, exactly. He literally once the stock is gone, that's when you can actually breathe. And Pug West right there. I'm trying to see if maybe there was a missed tech so he could pick up with the dancing blade. No it dice. It also doesn't help that Ryu hits like a truck, like damage wise. Yeah. So scared. Very fast tilts at that. That's why I think it's actually fair if you look at his design that he has such low range on his really fast normals, right? Might as well make him stubby because it would kind of be busted if he had a lot of range. Give Ryu a sword, man. No. So anyway, here we go. <laughs> I'll see about to get banned off the point. No, I'm just kidding. Ooh, <laughs> challenged him. Oh, <laughs> that, that, it's, just, it's like that fox laser almost. Yeah. You know, he just like shot except it's a Hadouken. He just like peppered him right there, you know, with that little... And that was a nice read from Pug West going for the spot dodge at the optimal time. If Jen would have held on to that focus, Pug West would have been dead. Oh! Shieldbreaker off stage. A very good option for Marth. Agreed. Okay. And still, as you can see, a oh boy. Pug West had so many options covered there, D1. He literally was waiting for <laughs> Jen to move forward. Yeah. Didn't move forward, came back. Yep. And, like, he could have gone anywhere. There was nowhere safe to land. So smart. Okay. Covering the edge option. Let's see what, what's going to happen here. And, oh, okay. again, Jen a little bit too slow with the Choryuken. Was able to at least recover in time so, to still kind of, like, hold down the edge. But here it is now. Pug West actually infiltrating, keeping center, pushing out Jen. Ooh, uh. I mean, he just air dodged. Like, if you're not going to do anything, here's my kick. Move the Shakunetsu Hadoken, trying to apply some shield pressure against Pug on that platform. Pug, every time using those ledge hop neutral airs, helps out a lot, actually. You know, it's double hits, so he doesn't have to worry about the focus. And it's, it has really good range, you know. Yeah, super important. There's a lot of short hop, retreating short hops from the Pug West. Finally connects the Shoryu afterwards, double Ooh. jumping into it before letting it rip. Okay, 56% right. Dude, that hitbox. Ooh. That was covered Ooh. so much range. Yeah. Again, Jen's using a lot of Yo. focus to try to get in, catches him with a down smash. You think that was, that, you think that was on purpose, probably? I believe so. Okay. That's something Jen would do. That was dope. My man just straight up hit him with the crouching roundhouse. Meanwhile, you got Pug West over here just spamming jab. Just the A button. That's all I need just to wall you out. Pug Very West is understanding oh. the matchup. Yeah, that jab is so good. As you can see, Eve oh, good tech. Again. And nice oh. coverage from Pug West. Just sealing the deal. He knows he's going to go for the tech. He's at the ready when he's about to land down on him. Has a sword waiting for him. I wonder, you know what would be really dope to see? What's that? If... Jen could get that wall jump tech into like a focus dash cancel. I want Chris. That would be crazy. That'd be OD. Yes. So as, as we say here <laughs> in uh, New York City. <laughs> or maybe I remember I saw him do the wall jump into the side B immediately, right? But that right. could be countered. So it's it's crazy. But three out of five guys. Just in case you guys are not joining us, here it is. Hey.
So Prog West, mm -hmm. one thing he's adapting immensely is going for more jabs, which is a great utility against focus attack because the second jab comes out so quick that it'll hit through it in case Jen continues to align the focus. We saw that happen at the end of that last game. Yeah. This jab is technically Ooh. a multi-hit. Uh -huh. See how much uh -huh. you get from this? Okay. Oh, he dropped it. Dang, I thought we were about to see a clip-worthy moment right there, man. One can only hope. Okay, big punish from Jen. No punish. Look. Expecting the drift to the right. Oh, still pushing Puck to the side, though. Yo, he got right on top of his head. Oh, all right. My man just talked to him? To him? He, no, he said talk. He, just, he, he said he's not talking to him, man. He said talk is cheap. Oh, <laughs> Talk, is that what Ryu really said? Yeah, dude. Talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. That's crazy, Ryu. My man, to be honest, he's a man of not many words, right? He just fights. That's why he says that line, man. He's a real, real warrior right here, though. <laughs> he said, I mean, the world's down there, man. Like, I, I don't know. Still the world warrior to me. I feel guy. it. I feel it. Nice uh -huh. punish on the landing. Catching some more elbows. But Pug West has my opportunity to get another kill. I still can't believe he actually spiked him. He, actually, he hit homeboy on his head, like... He donked him, dude. <laughs> That's like similar to what we saw when like one of the parents like disciplining their kids in Chinatown oh, earlier today. Dude. But anyway, we won't talk about it. <laughs> that was rough, dude. <laughs> that, that was That's it. the New York City Chinatown classic. <laughs> he has him off stage. He's out of double jumps, opts to go for the Shoryu. Pug West respecting. And I like to opt to go for the upwards on my dancing blade. Ooh, movement. <laughs> I feel it, I feel it. Oh, he's Paul West is just fading all the way back to the point where he's falling off stage. He's like, bye. Yeah, he can't lose his footing. Right now, we see some really good stuff from Jendo. He's trying to look for a single hit for him to fade through. And I like that challenge coming from Pug. He ducked underneath the hot oak and ran up and got an immediate grab. Kills yeah. him with the Ole up throw. I have to say, though, that was really smart grab right there. We noticed a lot of close range focuses. So you might as well go for the grab. It beats it. And again, you're seeing a lot of shields coming from Oh, so dang! You challenged him right out of that dancing blade. My man was mashing Shoryu. That's like similar to the first time that I remember I was at a Salty Suite for Street Fighter 4, and I definitely saw a Daigo mashing on Shoryu when he was playing somebody. I was like, that's crazy. Daigo mashes too? And right now, Jen... Sometimes you gotta mash. Because sometimes you gotta do it, right? If, they, if it's not airtight, <laughs> you might as well mash might as well, out. Might as well give it a shot. Give it the old college try. Whoa. Ooh. Getting him the fourth swing of that Dancing Blade, pushing him upwards. Has him set up, but Jen using focus to get out of that scenario. He lets go shoot at the last possible moment to be afraid of getting his shield broken. Goes for the reverse short, you to send him to the left. And I like that he went for that whiff forward smash. That's one of the setups that you see a lot of Mars, uh, reels go for, just so that they could sneak in a for, uh, no, short you afterwards. Yeah. Sneaky. He's, okay. for, he's trying to sneak in that elbow as we speak. Yeah, but that elbow got no range, baby. How's he going to get in there? Oh, yo. That was an opportunity. Yeah, I was like, yo, Pug, <laughs> he's feeling froggy right now. Okay, again, Pug playing super patient. He just fox trotted in, got that grab. Edge guard opportunity, tries to get a pant. Doesn't opt to go for it. Yo! Just solid focus. Grab. Okay. He has him off stage. He's just going to forward her through that hot token. This is Jen's time to get a punish. He Ooh. misses times the up till. Oh, this is. Looking for a back here. Gets uh -oh. hit by the shield breaker. 3% difference. Back in neutral. Here it is. Still absorbing a lot of these hits. Okay. He wants There's the elbow so bad. He, oh, definitely. Good back, sick back air. air. Wow. That was that was ridiculous, dude. He so just he, he threw that out. He read. He definitely read the movement. He was noticing a lot of full jump fare from Pug West to cut off like any threat of him trying to get into his airspace. So he said, you know what? I'm going to beat this dude to it. And he got it. So good stuff right there to Jen. 2-2. Two, two. Locking him into game five. <laughs> Yo, we definitely. Wait, is his name Jennifer? I definitely heard somebody say, let's go Jennifer, man. That's, That's a, our that, joke. It's a joke. It's oh. a joke. <laughs> his name is not Jennifer. All right. New York City just likes calling him that. Okay, I was about to say. By I mean, you know way, what? It's fine. Loser of this fights Rafi. All so, right. Oh, so we could potentially have a New England versus New England if yeah. Jen wins? New England versus New England? Yo, Yo, West Jen, has to, you know, get through this. Jen could actually help assist New York City with... The double whammy. Yeah, that would be a team kill right there set up really well for New York. So we'll see. Okay, again, you see Jen approaching with all these aerials. Goes for the down tilt into the Hadouken. Mistimes it. Doesn't need it to connect. That back here has so much shield pressure and shield push, but it just wasn't enough. Pug was still was able to get a little bit of a punish afterwards. Oh, Pug, you saw that, right? The slide will walk away and just immediately dashed in. And oh, my god! He's in such a terrible position. He's out of jumps. He has no choice but to go for the counter. He's going to keep going for the... Ooh, Ooh, he made it back. Yeah, but that was scary for Pug right there. Fortunately for him, he didn't have that much percent, so he didn't have to worry about a safe spike. 
Yeah, no matter how far he pushed Jen to horizontally, Tatsumaki always comes in and brings you back. That's it. Ryu can always recover from the horizontal. Oh, dang. He just slammed them into the ground, yo. It's like, yo, here's my, here's the floor, man. Say hi. Okay, Jen's going back to the edge of the stage. Yup. Rolls back oh, up. Oh, oh my god! What? Yo, so the you rest of sure you. Yo, so so New York right now is up on their feet. Yo, he just threw them on the ground. I'm gonna be honest though, man. Pug was definitely one of my favorites for this, but this is looking nuts. Jen is adapting. He's looking for another back air against Pug West. Pug West searching for a neutral air to get another kill. Focus is right through it. He's looking for an opening. Just okay. goes for the donkey kick. Oh my gosh. Okay, gonna turn that uh oh, kick. we got the Ryu thing play. <laughs> Here it is. Trying to inch in. There it is from Pug West. We got the four there, and now he's able to bring it down. But 55%. I mean, that was crucial yeah. that Pug West got that kill at that moment because Jen, with that much rage, has the potential to kill Pug West, so he just negated the rage altogether. Facts. Here we go. My New York's coming out right now. Yeah, Jen's trying to get out on the ground. Oh, the drag down! He had to get him off of him. He had to get him off. I didn't even know he Facts. had a drag down. What the heck? Yeah. Back air. He's out of jumps. No, he's, no, he's not. Okay. Coming back. Tries Son. to get the punish. Son. Son. Ooh, ooh, Son. Ooh, ooh. There. Oh Again, my God! Does it rock? Does said? not die. Battlefield making Pug West live. He's sitting at 124 percent. Oh another my God! That could have been the end for Jen. What's gonna happen here? Oh my God! The tables have absolutely turned. Barely missing that temper. Yo. On that focus attack. 93. It's a fair game. This it's, looks. It's, it's fair. D1. It's, this it's looks fair? so in G Jen's favor. It's Pug West fair. Right back. This game is fair. Free. Fair. Free. Yeah, it's fair. Free. And I don't mean Marth's fair. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh! He's going so deep, he has to. Yo! Oh my god! He's oh! not missing, but. Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, what's happening? Oh my god! He missed in oh, so I no. missed the oh. Yo, yo, Good. yo. Golly, Miss Molly, man. Yes, man. Holy freaking crap on a stick. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Pug West moves on. Holy shish kebab. He misinputted the short you <sighs> again. Homie really, homie said, yo, come through, come through, come through. Homie was like, and then, dang. You got to take care of you. Yo, let me tell y'all something real quick, man. D don't do it. He's, he's going to come downstairs soon, man. <laughs> there he is, there he is. Don't even look, don't even look. Look straight, look straight. Look at the camera. Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? We here. That was OD. You know, it's like you almost feel bad for Jen because he got the second miss input. Again, he did say his controller, he, his, I've been watching his sets today. He's been having a lot of miss inputs, more than usual. And that just sucks. I don't, 